Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. I'm doing this poem as part of a contest, so you're gonna watch me live as I go through my thoughts as I'm coding. Uh, there'll be an explanation near the end, and for more context, there'll be a link below on the actual screencast of the contest. Uh, how did you do? Let me know how you do. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and here we go. Two, two. Maximum area of a piece of cake after horizontal and vertical cut. So this one, is basically you have some cuts and then after you're cutting them you try to find the biggest slice uh, of each one right so from here you could recognize uh, from here I, I and the explanation will be later on feel free to skip ahead but basically what I re recognized was that okay you can always choose the biggest uh, cut in the dimension it doesn't have to be vertical or horizontal so you just really do them independently of each other and that way, you just go straight from that sense. Uh, you sort the, the vertical, and then you sort the horizontal cuts. So I was just also double checking whether we can put. Um, we, so another way to think about this problem is that um, the, I put in set nodes where there's a cut on zero and a cut on h, uh, a cut on zero, and a cut on w, right? So that's what I'm doing here. So I just put it in so that I can uh, lay the sort and then look at adjacent elements uh, so that you don't have to worry about edge cases with like the first element and then the last element or something like that. Uh, so that's what I do here. Um, I have a little bit of a typo here and that cost me a couple of minutes because um, I, I think I confused horizontal cuts with H. So I knew that, I knew that um, if you cut on the H, you, it goes the other way, right? Or something like that. I, I was very confused. So I, I just got the science wrong, but uh, but I fixed this later. There is another mistake, unfortunately, because I, I, I while I was double checking this, I forgot that you have to mod this because it doesn't seem like that, because everything should fit in a log. So I did not um, think to mod it, but, but that cost me five minutes. So that was the wrong answer for this problem. Um, but otherwise, I did this one pretty uh, quickly. I wish they just give you one answer. Why? Why make it a trick? It's it's Q two. Why make mod like a test case for the W? Uh, yeah. But I looked at this. I was like, oh, this is the wrong answer. Uh, and I double checked to make sure that my understanding is correct. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, oh, it's probably because I mixed up the H and the W. And once I fixed that. I submit, but it was the wrong answer because I forgot the mod. Um, uh, that face. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, and then as soon as I saw it, I knew it. Also, at this time, I don't know what's running on my computer, but it was really running slowly. So I had to close some windows real quick, and that also cost me some time. That's what I was doing now. Because normally, I would copy and paste this straight, um, and then just run it again, because that's my usual pattern. But yeah, now I'm just closing some windows, and that took some time. Next time I should be prepared on closing everything first. But yeah, uh, see now I went again just to make sure I get the right wrong answer. Um, and then I was like, oh yeah, the mod, I knew about the mod. Because I, I remember reading it, so I knew how, how I need to solve this immediately. But it was just sad. I was gonna just copy and paste, but I, it, they used the same constant, so I didn't have to. Uh, run it real quick, there's some lag because my computer is slow today. Uh, I really need to, Close some windows. Let's look at this. It's not even rendering. Uh, but okay, once I see that it gets the correct answer, I submit. And I think I also close more windows now. But yeah, so that's Q3. Or Q2, sorry. Q2. Maximum area of a piece of cake after horizontal vertical kicks. Cuts. <laughs> uh, so this one I did pretty straightforward. I spent four, oh, well, I spent four minutes because I think I was mixing up the H and the W, I wasn't sure that horizontal cut, I guess it makes sense. Uh, I think I got a little bit confused about H 
in the horizontal, to be honest. Uh, and then I confused it with height because I was like, now, if it's H, then you want to cut, because if you cut height, you cut the other way, something like that. So I, I mixed up these two variables. So that threw me off for like a couple of seconds. And I was like, okay, maybe I, that's wrong. So that, But the idea here is that um, the, the dimensions, the, uh, vertical and horizontal, or the ho vertical and horizontal, they're independent of each other. Uh, and what I mean by that is that you could use greed. And what I mean by that is that you could choose the widest or the, the uh, yeah, like the longest on uh, the height or the width. And then you take the longer, um, you always choose the maximal version of that. And once you do that, you just multiply them together. Um, I think this, this one was kind of annoying because the modular stuff, I mean, I think they really could have just made this slightly smaller so that it doesn't have to require modular. Uh, because it also fits in a 64-bit int. So that's why I, uh, in a moment, I forgot about the mod and I got a wrong answer, if you recall. But, uh, but I actually, I mean, when I saw it, I saw it, I, when I first read the question, I did see this. And usually I would immediately go down to the solution and write down the mod. But this problem, I, I guess I was a little bit rusty and not, uh, not, not coherent to my usual thing. But yeah, but basically, I just take uh, I sort the cuts, and I take the two adjacent cut uh, where you cut it, and then you just take the fattest piece uh, of both the width and then the height, and then you just time them, uh, multiply them together to get the result of the biggest slice. Yeah. So this algorithm, the way that I did it, is O of uh, n log n dominated by the sort. That's pretty much it. The space is also O of n the way we did it. Kind of depending on how if you want to count us modifying the inputs, um, but yeah.